Well, she's, she's very stressed, she's very upset. I mean, all of a sudden, the whole nation is reading about her private life um, all over the papers. Uh, and of course, she hasn't spoken to a single journalist. So, you know, it, it's something that, uh, unless it ever happens to you, you don't realise just you know, how horrendous it can be. Um, the, uh, the fact is that she called me on Friday. Uh, I was in Spain and said, Max, I'm surrounded by journalists knocking on my door, trying to do pictures. If I stand by a window, there's cameras going off. Um, you know, something obviously is happening. Do you know what? And I found out and got back to her. And then she said, they're all shoving letters through my door. Will you do an interview? Will you do an exclusive? Will you talk to us? Will you talk to us? I said, well, look, wait until I come back from Spain, I'll talk through everything with you, which is what happened last night when I got back from Spain. Um, and now she knows you know, the kind of uh, position that she's in, and she has a choice as to what she wants to do. She's obviously, she's known Tony for, for several years, although um, she knew John before she knew Wayne, her husband, and they've been friends for many, many years. So she obviously understands. Um, what uh, you know, what uh, Tony must be going through, and of course, this is the, the latest of many um, alleged relationships that John's meant to have had over the years. So uh, it must be uh, you know horrendous for her. But the fact of the matter is, you know, that Vanessa hasn't spoken to a soul, and her whole private life is all over the national press, and she's very anxious to know which close friend, supposedly close friend, has been telling everybody these things.